Gunmen have abducted as many as six construction workers from a camp in Bauchi, north of Nigeria's capital. According to Daily Times Nigeria, at least five of those abducted are foreign workers, including an Italian, a Greek, and two Lebanese workers. The number also includes two women. UK officials have yet to confirm if another was British. Bauchi police explained the gunmen first attacked a police station and prison before invading the construction site. No one was abducted in the first round of attacks, but police are blaming the gunmen for burning two vehicles at the police station. Al Jazeera points out attacks targeted at foreigners are increasing in the northern part of the country. In December, an al-Qaeda-linked group claimed responsibility for the kidnapping of a French national who's still missing. And last May, gunmen in Kaduna State shot and killed two foreign construction workers and kidnapped another. Kidnappers also killed a German hostage during a rescue operation later that month. The BBC suggests a link between the most recent abductions and the Islamist militant group Boko Haram. The militant group's leader remains the most wanted man in Nigeria, and the U.S. has designated him as a terrorist. In the past, the group has been blamed for the 2010 bombings in Jos, which killed 80 people. Boko Haram's deadliest attack was in January 2012, when more bombings killed 180 in Kano. Following this attack, the group's leader said in a video clip released online, I enjoy killing anyone that God commands me to kill. An African specialist for Sky News explains this militant group is part of a bigger problem facing Nigeria and other African nations, including Mali and Algeria, which have both seen recent conflict with radicals. Clearly, they are trying to show that they are part of the wider jihadist movement that's cuts across West Africa that has become apparent in Algeria and in Libya. And their goal to impose Sharia law with harsh restrictions on the daily lives of women especially. There's been no word from the construction company regarding the recent kidnappings. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs. Multiple sources, a real story.